going on guys today is actually a really cool day because what i am going to do is i'm actually going to theory test for a spade card glitch that exists in 100 percent so essentially what i'm going to do is i'm going to cause a spade card game uh the one where you match the cards like match two mushrooms get a mushroom in your inventory everyone knows about this game if you go on top of that level where the spade card game is you'll enter the spade card game you'll play the spade card game but when you exit the spade card game the actual level will flip over as completed and you'll be able to pass through the level so utilizing that in 100 percent will allow you to actually still clear the level in the overworld the the mario m will still appear um but you also don't have to play the level now, the rules for 100% normally state that you have to enter and exit the level, every level, like, authentically. But there's been a lot of talk lately in the Mario 3 community, and as long as we ban arbitrary code execution and wrong warps and stuff like that, within the game's code, it's marked as completed, um, and 100% is essentially just complete everything 100%. We're gonna try and theory test it, and it may not even work. It is possible that something like this might not even work. In order to spawn a spade card game, you have to get 80,000 points, right? Now, spade card games can stack on top of each other. Once you get to 160,000 points, the stacking will start after that. And what that means is that every time you do um, one transition at the start of every world, the spade card game will spawn instantly. If you do a spade roulette game or a mushroom house, the spade card game will actually spawn on the coordinates of where it would naturally spawn if you were in the previous world. What you want to do is you want to take this image of the map and you want to lay it over top of world six, like equally, okay? And you'll see that uh, through coordinates that some levels actually lay over top of each other. So what you have to do is you have to separate doing a level and a pipe transition and a spade roulette game and a mushroom house. Those do different things to the spade card game and I don't know why. So the ultimate goal here, guys, is to get the spade card game to land on 6-7. Bet. What are you doing? There's nothing up here for you. All right, 5-4 will be my last level, and then the Hammer Brother I'll fight after. So it just makes me think about how the Japanese version works with glitching the extra warp whistle. In the Japanese version, if you want to get the glitched Warp Whistle in 5-1, the last Hammer Brother that you have to fight has to be the Warp Whistle. Alright, so... If I got- if I fought another Hammer Brother from getting the Warp Whistle in World 2, then that would be the glitched item in 5-1, not the... Um, not the Whistle. I knew it. I knew it, dude. I knew it. It's last level, then Hammer Brother. I knew it, dude. I knew it. Just like the glitch in the Japanese version with the Hammer Brother. Alright, just hope and pray that we don't see it when we first screen transition. If we take the pipe, we're at least one step closer. All right, just hope and pray that we don't see it when we screen transition. If we do, that's a big bummer. Yes! Yes! It's insane how this doesn't break the whole game. It's one little piece where it's like, yeah, you can use this right here, but that's it. It's all you get. In conclusion, we were able to successfully get the spade card game to spawn on 6-7. Unfortunately, we cannot get it to chain reaction with itself from world to world, meaning do it on a level, get it to spawn on 6-7, do it on 6-7. So we're not going to be able to skip multiple levels with this. Um, but we did, however, able to get it on 5-7, 
and 6-7. Six, 6-7 seven. Six, seven is only time save because of how long of an auto-scroller it is. It's about 1 minute and 10 second auto-scroller, which means doing the spade card game is about 10 seconds, but you can get fire flowers on the spade card games as well. So you're not losing that much time. Um, it's going to allow you to change things up just a little bit. It's going to cost you a little bit of time uh, menuing, but that's about it. Menuing and a couple extra map movements, that's it.